Hi everyone and welcome to my living room. In this video I'm going to show you how to connect your uh, Bahoo Kicker Power Trainer with the application Swift. A couple of things about the setup that you need in order to get started. Obviously the Power Trainer, the bike attached to it. My bike has got a Bahoo cadence sensor attached to it. Um, I'm wearing a heart rate monitor which you don't necessarily need, but I mean, I do like training with a heart rate monitor. That's one that came with my Ambit, soon to Ambit 3. You need Swift application installed on your computer. I've got a MacBook Air, not the latest spec, it's from 2012. Uh, and I've got the Swift application installed on my mobile phone, which is a Android OnePlus 2, in case you're interested. Last but not least, I am gonna connect with Swift using Bluetooth, which uh, they've only recently started to support Swift. Previously, you had to use a um, and plus dongle. So I'm going to show you how to do that. I've never used Swift before, so you're going to see how that's going to going to work out. The first thing you got to do is make sure all your devices have Bluetooth enabled. I've started the application, obviously downloaded and started the application Swift on my um, computer. Um, and yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get started and uh, and log in and see what's gonna happen. All right, I still got that free trial um, here, um, so I guess I've got the option now to join now or start the riot. Let me just start the riot. It keeps telling me I need to do N plus here with the dongle. Starts loading. What will you have in plus? Um, in parallel, I'm gonna open up the mobile app. So it tells me no N plus dongle, which. Oh, nice, there's this Bluetooth thing pop popping up in the corner. Yeah, let me just click on that Bluetooth and search for a power source here. Searching, searching. Maybe I need to activate the kicker and do a few pedals. Let's see. Oh, there it is. Yeah. So it found the Bahoo kicker, which is um, which is great. Um, I want to connect uh, my heart rate monitor as well and the cadence sensor. Let's search for the cadence sensor. Nice. It found that straight away. That was smart and fast and the heart rate monitor as well so i think it's really good um really smooth connection here all three were detected immediately and i can get started so it's added challenges now it looks like i need to select the challenge here and I can choose between Mount Everest and Ride California and two unlocked ones. I think I'm gonna go for Ride California here. Alright guys, given that I uh, haven't done any experience here, I'm just gonna select workout and click on the just right thing. And it asks me um, to do an FTP test, which is interesting, um, and they've updated it to 197 for me. Uh, given that I've used other software, um, and to be precise, I've been training with Trainer Road. I do know my FTP, so um, I don't need to do that test. You can easily just write if you click on on that write button, so you don't have to select the workout. So you can write as long as you want, and you cancel. Um, as soon as you want so there's no restrictions uh, swift guys is one thing if i end this one whether i discard that right or whether i want to save it it keeps crashing all right managed to get a free ride sorted gonna show you that video of it just a bit of a fast forward way welcome to this virtual world in swift called richmond in the background you hear the noise that my Bahoo kicker does when pedaling, if you're interested in the noise level. I just started 
Couple of things on the user interface here. Top left, main areas, watts, cadence, and heart rate. Gonna fast forward a little bit. Um, right areas here, all the writers, uh, list of writers, like country flags. And over here, yeah, first time um, the element of closing the gap came into place. And pretty soon I've already also unlocked my first achievement, which is a drafter, which is not the best one to achieve, to be honest. So we keep going forward, again on the right hand side, all the cyclists. Top right was a bit confusing for me at the beginning, this is like the course, a um, couple of icons. And you see on the left, now I got this sprint section, so there's a section um, for the best sprinter on this course, and I do really like this interface here. You see that I'm the, the leader has 16, and I just passed, and I'm not at 12, 18, 19, so that's my time. Um, and I seem to unlock there's a spinning thing, I seem to unlock um, an achievement like some kind of power app, like that leave that green icon here. Gonna fast forward, yeah, on the top uh, side of the screen you see uh, the miles that I'm going at the left area, then uh, the total distance in miles, the feet that I've climbed, and um, the time passed. Some more achievements, you see him um, moving forward, overtaking a few, some others are overtaking me. I really like this landscape, and what I did over here, I just activated the power up which made me a little bit lighter gonna move forward and we're on an uphill bit now as you can tell another section now it's not a sprint but a climbing section um, and I finished I can't really tell here this is my time um, and I finished somewhere in between no more some more workouts here uh, achievements unlocked. Gonna go forward, forward. So this is the best lap. I can't stop now. Then the first 10 miles here. Another achievement. Um, I think you can use those achievements to some stuff like um, after the workout. And as you can see, yeah, I'm approaching the finish line. 300 feet to go. Um, best lap this month. Um, finishing 10th, am I gonna finish 11th, 12th, I guess, um, this month, 27 for that Richmond lab. So, took me a while to figure out, I can use a mobile app to wave, as you see here, um, and change the camera, and even take some screenshots, I think, of the landscape, as you can see over here. So first ride on Swift Sorted, um, guys, I gotta give huge credits to the developers and the founders of this company. Uh, it was great, 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 great fun. Summary connectivity, you saw it like at the beginning was very smooth. Yeah, there is this bug um, um, that makes the app keep crashing, but this is software de development. I'm in this space as well. Gonna get fixed um, and, and things are gonna be smooth. I managed to uh, actually save the workout, um, so that bug, you know, didn't really affect me too much. I used the mobile app to stop. I'm not sure, maybe you know, it gets saved anyway behind the scenes constantly. But whatever, just some other feedback. What I really liked about it is, yeah, it's it's the social aspect, seeing other riders. I mean, with like the country flags, this is so smart, and the gamification elements. It just works really, really nicely and. Coming from Trainer Road, you know, where it's all about, you know, like the numbers and the sessions, it's, I think, you know, both, like, they, they have, they deserve, you know, their space and uh, both Trainer Road and Swift, and Swift is so social, and yeah, this virtual world is, is great. Um, took me until the end to figure out, you know, how can, how can I use the mobile app to, uh, to wave and, and to, to do funny things, and even use the boost, um, I think, might be a bit of cheating, but, um, it's quite fun anyway. Um, guys, um, that's it. I have uploaded um, my run to Strava. I'm gonna share the links in the comments. If you've got any more questions, reach out to me. Follow me on Swift, I'm Dan Noz. Um, and yeah, check out my, my other videos in this YouTube channel. I'm currently training 
for 70.3 in Sweden and I, I vlog regularly so um, would be good to to get some support from the one and the other and share some experiences. Until then, take care. Have a good one. Bye.